Hey, hey, sweet friends. Welcome back to this week's grocery haul. This will be the last grocery haul of 2022. Can y'all believe it? <laughs> so this week I just did a little quick um, small Walmart pickup order and we went and picked that up since it was Christmas weekend. I did not want to be in those stores, of course. So I just have a quick little fill-in haul for y'all this week and then an of course, my meal plan will follow after this, so I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and think about subscribing and becoming part of my YouTube family. I would absolutely love to have y'all. All right, so starting back here, I got two Sweet and Creamy International Delight. I've never seen this flavor. I don't think it's new, but maybe it's just new to our store because um, it says new look, same taste. <laughs> I've never had that one. And I did get three gallons of 2% milk, but I've already put it out in the extra fridge, so um, they're not pictured. Then I got a, another quart of heavy whipping cream. I got two more things of the small sour creams. Two things of eggs. These were the only eggs I could find at Walmart and they were over $5 a dozen. So <clears throat> it is what it is. I gotta have them. So we like the brown eggs, like the fresh eggs better than just, you know, the normal store vault. So I always pay a little bit more for them, but I haven't had to pay over $5, but I did today because I needed eggs. Then I got two things of sharp cheddar cheese and it never fails. I always get one that is messed up for some reason. The last time I bought it, I got one that was messed up and one that was all nice like this. <laughs> I picked up a thing of mozzarella cheese just to have on hand, um, pizza night or anything like that. Then I got two things of Parmesan cheese. Back here, I got a four pack of the sweet cream salted butter. This is close to $5. A pack now. I do have some in the freezer, but I took one out, so this is why I'm putting one back. I got another thing of just the pulled rotisserie chicken to have for recipes or anything like that. I think this is right at seven dollars for that. Then I got some smoked Virginia ham for lunch meat. I also picked up some uh, um, beef bologna. Uh, we love fried bologna sandwiches, so I have that. I picked up some yellow American, just the deli slices. Um, we are probably gonna have tomato soup and grilled cheese. That'll probably be on the menu, um, especially after Christmas and just to keep it kind of easy. So back here, I needed some croutons or croutons as I call them. <laughs> so I got some cheese and garlic seasoned croutons. And then I just got a bag of the seasoned croutons. This is gonna go up to his mom's um, when we have our Christmas Eve dinner. So that's why I needed a bag of those. And then these also are gonna go for the salad that I'm taking up and I'm making the Alfredo bake. I think I mentioned that in the last one. So um, got some more bacon bits. I needed some more Badia Complete. Picked up a container or a jar of my favorite sun-dried tomatoes just to have on hand because sometimes these are hard to find <clears throat> and then I picked up some Olive Garden dressing we're going to take that up there for the salad which this is my favorite dressing I picked up some cinnamon french toast coffee creamer to keep at work um, I noticed the other day we didn't have anything there so I wanted to go ahead and get that just to keep on hand I picked up some molasses because I'm going to make some soft molasses cookies soon. So I needed some of that. I got some cherries because I'm going to make some chocolate covered cherries. And then I got two things of pizza sauce to keep on hand as well as two cans of our favorite green beans. This is going to go back in the prepper pantry. So are these along with the Kraft Ranch just to keep on hand in case we don't have the stuff to make our homemade ranch or if we're in a pinch, that always comes in handy. Produce wise, I got um, eight huge, <laughs> uh, I think they're honey crisps. Yes, if I can get it to focus y'all. It's not gonna focus. But these are honey crisp apples. So I have eight of those. I got a bunch of bananas. 
I got some great tomatoes also for the salad to take up there and cucumbers for the salad and to keep on hand as a snack along with some more salad mix. I got two of the smaller ones, but all they had is this huge salad mix, but that's okay because it'll be, it'll be used. So no worries there. And then I got two bunches of fresh asparagus. This is going to go with our Christmas Eve dinner. Um, we have our prime rib and I usually do smashed potatoes and I'm going to make asparagus with it. So I got two bunches of that. I needed some more pie crust because I've got to make another one of my southern walnut pies. It's just like um, a pecan pie, but I just use walnuts instead because I love me some walnuts. I love pecans too, don't get me wrong, but um, the walnut pie is to die for. Back here, I got a thing of the, I wanted two bags of them, but they were out. So I got one bag of the regular fruity dino bites, and then I got one with marshmallows. We've never had the one with marshmallows. Hopefully it's good. So that's the cereal I got this week. Then I got a bag of potato chips right here. I have some chip dip in the fridge and my youngest one asked me to get some chips for that. So I picked him up a bag and then I needed to replenish my pasta. I used a box, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. And I already said the green beans. And then I picked up my husband's favorite snack cakes. Um, just got a box of the cinnamon streusel coffee cakes. They're his favorite. And then two loaves of white bread. Um, Cause we were out, I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken. And then back here, I got two 24 packs of bottled water. I forgot to get gallons of water for my Keurig. So I'll have to go into another store during the week or if we run out, but I got two packs of those. I picked up another thing of Tide Ultra Oxy. I have found that this is the best laundry detergent to help with working husbands and um, boys laundry, <laughs> let me put it that way. So I picked up another thing of that. And then the last grocery haul I showed y'all that I got two of these. Well, I did a return on one of them because it had a pinhole like right here in the bottle when I went to squeeze it because I always check it. So when I got home, I noticed it and I did a return. So they gave me my money back. So I needed to get another bottle. And then I needed some more clothes hangers. So I just picked up an 18 pack of those. And then I had been looking for one of these for a while. They've always been out, but they finally had it in there, but it holds up to 20 eggs. So it's just an egg keeper to take up for dinners and everything. So I thought that was neat. Then I picked up two things of forks. I'm gonna take these to work because we didn't have any more forks, um, no bigger forks. We just have the little tiny ones. So I got two of those, so that'll give us six of them. And then I don't know if you all have heard, but I've seen it on the news that there's gonna be like a shortage on ibuprofen and Tylenol. So I went ahead and stocked up. I just got the um, regular ibuprofen and then I got some of the liquid gels. These are usually what I have to take for my migraines. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough. And then I got some extra strength Tylenol, the gel caps. And then I also just got the regular um, acetaminophen as well, Tylenol. Um, but that is everything I got on this haul, and you can see the pups there. It is cold here in West Virginia. I think it got down to like negative two last night with the feel like temperatures. I think it was close to 20, 20 or 22 below zero. So anywho, it was very cold and they are in their little sweaters getting some sunshine. <laughs> so, but that is it for this grocery haul. Stay tuned for the meal plan. It is coming up next. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and think about subscribing and hitting that uh, subscribe bell. It's probably down here. I would love to have y'all. Until next time, my friends, God bless. Bye.